So our first circuit with multiple capacitors, combination of both series and parallel. I'd like to know what the voltage drop is across each capacitor and how much energy the 10 microfarad capacitors store. Okay, so looking at this, if we follow a path from the battery, follow along, we reach a branch. We have the choice to go through this middle line or to go up through this top line. That means this middle line is in parallel with this top line. So this middle line has to have just as much voltage as the top line does. Since in the top line we only have one capacitor, the 20 microfarad capacitor, you think about energy, if the battery is putting in 12 volts, and the only thing in the path, if we follow, if we trace the outside loop of the circuit, the only thing in the path is that 20 microfarad capacitor. It has to take out all 12 volts. So delta V for this capacitor <coughs> is 12 volts. Now, we could easily find the charge as well. We know that Q is equal to C delta V. We know C, the 20 microfarads, is the capacitance. Delta V, we now know, is 12 volts. So Q would be, what, 240 microcoulombs. I didn't ask for Q, but since we're at it, might as well find it. Now, as far as the 5 and 10 are concerned, if, again, if we follow a path that goes through the middle, we have to pass through both the 5 and the 10 capacitors. So together, their voltages have to add up to be 12. Together, they have to pull all 12 volts out of the circuit. Now, because they're not the same capacitances, they will not have an equal portion of the 12 volts. They're not both going to have 6 volts. They're only going to have... They'll add to the 12, but not evenly. The only way they could have the same voltage is if they have the same... Uh, so what we need to do is we need to find out their equivalent capacitance, what they are equivalent to. So what they would be, what one capacitor value could be used to replace those two together. When they're in series, we know they're in series because if we follow the path around this bottom loop here, we have to pass through both of them. If you have to pass through both of them, then they're in series. To find equivalent capacitance in series, we add them 1 over. So we're going to have 1 over 5 microfarads plus 1 over 10 microfarads. Trina? Yeah. Do you have the equation, the quick equation for 2? Oh, it's just algebra. It's okay. No, I know, but it's just... Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, it's a matter of opinion. It's really not too hard this way. So the equivalent capacitance is simply 10 thirds microfarads. So 3.333, so forth. Remember that that equation, the Q is equal to C delta V, works for any individual capacitor, but it works for the circuit as a whole as well. So by knowing the equivalent capacitance and the total voltage, we can find the total charge. The total charge that accumulates on that capacitor. So the total charge will be the capacitance. I'll leave it as a fraction this time because the math's going to work out nice times the voltage, which is 12 volts. So the total charge is 40 microcoulombs. So that's the total charge that accumulates on that particular capacitor. 
the capacitors in series have to have that total charge on them. So both of these are going to have that 40 microcoulombs of charge on them. Well, we know C and we know Q, so we can find delta V using the same equation again. Delta V is going to be Q over C, so 40 divided by 5, we're going to get 8 volts there. 40 divided by 10, we're going to get 4 volts there. Notice 8 plus 4 is 12. They add up to be the 12, which is necessary. So the 20 microfarad capacitor ends up with all 12 volts. The 5 ends up with 8, and the 10 ends up with 4. Questions on getting the voltages? The second question I asked is how much energy the 10 microfarad capacitor will store. <coughs> the stored energy by a capacitor Many ways to write it. One way is one half C delta V squared. We know the capacitance. The capacitance is 10 microfarads. Delta V is 4 volts. We need to square that. 5 times 16. Eighty, and we have the micro here, so it's still micro, and then joules. Okay. 